Hey guys, it's Kartika Swami from Medlife Mastery and I'm here to tell you how I got into med school and how you guys can do it too. So currently I'm in my second year of medical school at California North State University and to get to this point I had a wild journey that I think you guys can find some inspiration in. So before I started medical school I went to CNU undergrad in Rancho Cordova and from there I applied outwards for medical school. During that program time I did some research, I did shadowing, and I did a lot of undergrad coursework and obviously the MCAT, which took me four tries to do. So for me, for MCAT, I was had a goal score that I was trying to get to, and it was very hard for me to get to that score. First time I did it, I did not study organic chemists really. And that was my downside. That's the reason I didn't get my goal score. Second time around, I'm ready. I get study OCHEM, but COVID happened. Kept delaying my test. I had to get my test delayed 10 times because COVID cost centers would be closed for a few months. And that led to my exam being in out of state in Nevada. And I'm from California. So that was a long journey where I had to drive over interstate and take the test and didn't get my goal score again. Third time comes around, I do everything right in my mind and prepare well and take the test. Again, third time, not the goal score. At this point, I had no motivation. It was like I've done this three times and after the first time I felt like I already knew everything and it just wasn't working for me. I was really unmotivated to study again, but my father said, you have nothing to lose, you're already in medical school. Why not take it another time to get your goal score? Because I had already applied to other medical schools and so I had gotten some acceptances, interviews. I was like, sure, why not? And here I was studying again for a fourth time, but this fourth time was very different. I kind of relaxed during the study period, kept myself mentally fresh and excited to study. I didn't study as much. I believe I already knew the content, so I was just going in relaxed. A couple months studying and then took the test and thank God I got the score I wanted and surpassed the goal score I wanted to get. And with that, got an interview at the school I wanted to go to and then got many more acceptances and I ended up here at CNU in Elk Grove. So during the application process, that was another struggle for me. There were so many second years because I applied to all the DO schools and a majority of the MD schools. And there was just so many second years. Primaries during MCAS and the AAM commas was not that bad because that's just one application. But the second years, there were so many questions. So I ended up reusing a lot of answers actually because believe it or not, a lot of the secondaries have very similar questions. You can just reuse them, change up a little bit of words here and there to fit the school's exact wording of how they want the question and put it in there and bam, that's how I did my secondaries. Took months of work and I found a way to become a little bit more efficient and hopefully you guys can do that too. You don't need to rewrite every single answer for every single school. I'd say probably 75% of the questions on every school secondary are very similar and you can just reuse them, repaste them, change up a couple words here and there and get the job done. After I got my MCAT score and was interviewing and getting into schools I wanted to, I decided to kind of do my own little project and help the students underneath me in the younger generations with their application process. So I took on the role of helping people with their application, with their primary apps, proofing their applications, secondaries, proofing their secondaries, and then afterwards with interview prep. Now, I personally am now currently on the board for interviewing for incoming students to the school. So I interview actual students and decide how they performed and I've been helping students with their interviews as well. And I'm proud to say that every student I've helped with their interviews has gotten into MD school and a DO school of their choice. And that's something I'm proud of and I hope to keep helping with through MedLife Mastery. And recently I joined MedLife Mastery in order to keep doing this, but on a larger scale. This is what I do for kind of giving back to the younger generation, make it easier on them. Because for me during COVID, it was kind of me alone and my family and that was it for me. I didn't really have anyone else for support and I felt like I didn't really have anyone to reach out to for help for this kind of stuff. And that's why I'm here for you guys. I wanna make sure that you guys have an easier time than me at least and have a smoother sailing ride into medical school. Because if I got into medical school, I know you guys can give into it too. Just never give up, keep working, keep hustling, but also make sure to take care of yourself. Mental health is very important. You guys got this. I hope you guys like this video. Hope this was inspirational for you guys. Leave a comment below, like the video, and thank you guys for listening and peace out.